Hello. I hope this video finds everybody well. I'm ready to entertain some kids and paint along. Today we are going to paint a sweet, adorable little hedgehog. Uh, I had a special request come in from some local girls in Morden here, so I'm happy to show them how to do this sweet little, little girl hedgehog. Um, there's going to be a bit of a crown of flowers that we'll get into, but we are going, that can be customizable. So if there's any boys that want to do a hedgehog, you don't have to do this, but maybe you can put your spin on it and show me what those are like. So for this one, quickly the colors that we need, blue and pink and green are going to be used for the little crown on the hedgehog. Otherwise, we have some basic colors here too. So white, black, and brown. Also sticking to my my plate, my napkin, my rinse water, and my three size brushes, we have Papa, Mama, and Baby. So first thing is first. I'm gonna shake up my brown. Put some brown on my plate. Shake up my white. And ooh, some little crassies from the lid came off. There, adding some white to my plate. So not too, too much, just a nice amount there. I'm going to start with my mama brush, just to give myself some extra bristles here to help mix. So taking some of that brown Mixing a separate spot away from the two colors. I'm going to make a nice medium, kind of a creamy coffee, milk chocolate sort of looking. There we go. That looks really nice. Okay, Ooh, that's dripping. So right there, that's a nice medium color brown. I'm going to put that down until I get my outline going. So jumping in with baby brush. I'm going to start my outline of my little hedgehog. So over here, I'm going to do a little bit of a rounded tip. This is going to be our hedgehog's nose. We'll add a little bit of black afterwards. We're going to move up. So it's a nice slope. Nice curve right there. That's our hedgehog's forehead. And then once we kind of get to the tip of the head, this is where our bristles are gonna start moving and coming down around for the little back. So I'm just gonna leave that spot right there and come down forward to where the tummy is. So moving from the nose, so this nose isn't that, that wide, it's just a nice little A little squeaker nose. And then we're gonna come down. Get lots of paint on there. So my kids today, Eli and Clara, are doing their homework in the basement. We picked up their stuff from school today. Yay, thank you teachers. But they're gonna watch the video that I'll be posting and then maybe try it out with crayons and show me what they've got afterwards. So I'll share their pictures after. Okay, so what we've done here is we've come down, this is gonna be the front of our little hedgehog's arm that's gonna be sitting on his tummy. I have come down here and this is going to be the little paw that's sort of sitting on our hedgehog's tummy. Okay, so from there, I'm just going to keep on going down all the way to the bottom of our canvas. 
just about right there. So this is just gonna give you an idea right there. So that's where our little hand is gonna, gonna be. Okay. Our next little hand. So we're just going to, if you follow in a line, going kind of up diagonally, just a slight little bit, we're gonna give our little hedgehog another little hand that comes a little bit of an angle this way and spread it out. So I'm using my brush to kind of zigzag and this helps give our little hedgehog some texture, but we're not gonna to be too worried about that stuff yet because we have a lot to fill in. This is just going to be our outline for now. Okay. Now we're going to kind of give our hedgehog the the shape and where his little spikes go, his little bristles. So coming from the head, using that baby brush, each little mark I'm going to make is short and sweet. I'm not pressing very hard with my brush, just nice, almost like a feather, and I'm bouncing it off the canvas. And I'm going to make sure that this line has a bit of a curve to it. So there's that nice rounded back that's going to come down this way, and right there. Okay. We're going to give the top part of the head the same treatment. So these short little lines. Just keep on going going wider than what our first line was with those spikes. You can go around the edges there too. If you're working on a canvas, if you're just working on paper, you don't have to worry about edges, that's okay. Make sure you can see that there. There. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. So now what we're going to do is start filling in some of our, our hedgehog's main color. So I'm just rinsing out that brush, nice and gentle with your brushes so they last longer. I'm going to take more white off to the side, still with my, uh, my mama brush being dirty, grabbing more white, more white to the side, more white. So this is going to be just an off-white tan color. I hope that shows up well on there. Okay. And with that mama brush, I'm just going to start filling it in. And my brush strokes are really short and layered. So I'm going over and over and over the same spot. You can follow that line again. And if you end up touching any of this stuff that's wet, that's okay. It's going to help give our little guy some of that fuzzy looking texture. Starting from the top, making these short little sweet brush marks back and forth, back and forth. We can even grab a little bit of the darker brown in there too. And going up, going down. So this helps give our canvas that texture, that paint that textured look. Light again. So painting has a lot of layers. And I like it when the paint actually mixes 
on the canvas. It actually does a lot of the work for us. So we'll add a little bit of that darker brown, move it up, move it down, bring it up, back down. Short and sweet. This is also a square brush. So just like on the Papa brush, it is a flat end like this. It's not rounded. That helps give a, a little extra help when you're working on these little textures. Okay, adding darker and lighter again, up and down. Helps them look a little fuzzy. I'm going to try and leave that line there where his hand sits, his little paw. But we can always go back and revisit that when we're doing more of the details. Getting some of the tummy done. Back and forth. Little visitors checking in on my progress. Are you kids actually going to do your homework? Mine are. Yay! <laughs> so, oh, more little brush strokes. Oh, there's a bit of that wet spot there, but that is totally okay. I'm going to do a little bit more of the darker. I'll come back up with that lighter. So by adding the darker brown at the bottom here, it's going to help make them look a little bit more round. A little plump. Little fella. Or little girl. Whatever your hedgehog is. Whatever. Nice little brush strokes. I hope you can see the little those textures in there. So it's really easy to do. You just need to layer that paint on there. Up and down, back and forth. And come back up to the face a little bit. So that it's nice and covered. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm gonna take that dark brown, still using my mama brush, and I'm just gonna try and soften up this line. So this I'm more rubbing my brush. And then softening that line. Just in the face area so he looks a little bit more rounder that way. Lots of little layers. I'm gonna take that medium brown again. Just to darken up the paw. A little bit more of that medium brown on the other paw. Cute little guy. Okay, and then the next step, I'm just gonna rinse out my brush. We're gonna stick with that mama for a minute. Make sure you Wipe off your extra water on your napkin. I'm gonna grab a fresh 
bit of white. Just adding little bits around the face. A little fuzzy little guy here. So it's almost like I'm using my brush like a feather. I'm pressing very, very lightly, kind of making these little X marks. Helps give some of that extra texture and highlights that you might see if this little guy was sunning himself. And lightens it up like that. Scratch. You can probably hear it. Or a white. Thank you for this request. This little hedgehog is going to be so sweet. So going around the face, I'm making sure that my brush is sweeping out from around. So using the direction, I'm pointing the brush to help give us some of that extra help there with the highlights. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm just going to rinse that out right now. While that dries, I'm going to jump back to that baby brush. I'm going to add a little bit of black to my plate. Just maybe about the size of a quarter. And with black, I'm going to make different tones with the brown. Black is a very strong color, so I'm just going to start out small with the black, making more of a, a gray brown. Oh, that's too much black. Okay, so this brown is more of a sort of gray mud clay color. And I'm going to start putting, so this, these same lines that we did up here, I'm going to add these little lines sort of sparingly throughout the back area here. They overlap those first ones that we did. All around my edge. A couple going that way. Adding them a little bit farther down. So again, this is all about layers. I can hear my kids arguing. That's nothing new in my house. Okay. Then I'm just going to take that same color and I'm going to add more of that lighter brown that we had mixed already adding it to the same pile of that darker gray clay sort of color I had already mixed, just so we have a, a lighter tone in that one. And then I'm gonna start adding it on top of those lines. A 
was a big, big glob of paint right there. And I'm bringing it down a bit. And I'm making sure that I'm not just going like one, two, three, four, five in these straight lines like you would think of like Christmas lights. This is more sort of random and I'm doing crisscrossed and up and out. Okay. And I'm gonna grab, I'm, just, I'm not rinsing my brush at all throughout this either. I like the way the paint mixes on there. Okay. And then I'm just going straight up dark brown. Adding in some of those spots that are maybe just white. giggling. They're friends again. <laughs> that also happens often in my house. More up here. That's a lot of work. Lots of repetition. <laughs> And then I'm going to add a little bit more white. So I'm going to make that little light color. How about the same color that we did for the, the main body here? I'm going to add that in there. Better get used to each other, guys. A little bit more coming down this way. Just gonna add a few little dots. This, just little dabs coming down this way. Maybe some white ones. A few more white. I'm just using the very tip of my brush to add these. Maybe some up here. And these dots I'm kind of keeping closer to the the line that separates the fur from the little spiky bits okay just gonna rinse out my brush <clears throat> that's looking pretty cute so far what do you guys think? I think he's sweet. Okay, so uh, for the next step, we're gonna do the little nose, mouth, and little eye. I'm gonna use my baby brush, and just on the very tip, I'm gonna put some black paint in for the little nose. I'm trying to move my hand out of the way. So the little nose is going to follow the front edge not all the way but it's going to come a little bit lower on this side so it's lower it's past this point on the bottom a little bit short on the front and then we're going to make 
this little hedgehog have a smile. Carrying that line. Oh, it's just a little smirk. Cute little, cute little hedgehog. And I'm gonna add the little eye. So thinking, oh, I got white on my hand. It's gonna happen. I'm thinking about my placement, so I'm not going to put my eyeball over here. I'm gonna put it where it makes sense. Kind of close to the front. Oh, still did it. I should wait until it's dry, but I don't have that kind of time. <laughs> so nice. nice and slow. Everybody knows how to do the circle, so it's pretty easy. Oh, it is so cute. We're going to let that dry a bit. I am rinsing out my brush. Just rinsing it out. I'm going to grab a little bit of pink. I'm going to give this little I guess it's a girl because it's wearing a flower crown. But you can definitely make a boy hedgehog or make one of each if you want to. I'd love to see them. Okay, so taking pink, I'm taking a little bit of white just to make a really soft pink. Okay, and then I'm going to give this little guy, or girl, who sometimes when I do my kid parties, I say, oh, there's unicorn, this boy, and then the girls go, it's not a boy unicorn, and then I say, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so pink, we're going to do a nice big... Soft, rosy cheek. Nice rosy cheek for this little hedgehog. And we're going to do a little bit right by the nose. Coming up the little bridge of the nose there and down like this. Maybe we're going to add a little bit of more white. What? This is, oh, there's my puppy too. Nice and soft. Kind of doing a bit of a swirl there. And then I'm going to do this again too. Just a little bit smaller than the previous pink part that I did. Just a little bit going up the nose. Pretty cute. Okay, so while I, that's maybe a little bit still wet there, but what we're gonna do, I'm gonna add a little ear. So I'm taking that medium brown I'm gonna cover up some of those spikes that we had done. Adding a little ear right there. And then adding a little bit of white just inside the center there. That way it looks like it's sitting on top. And I'm gonna add a bit of a darker, that darker brown. And just to the edge of the paw here. And I'm using my brush nice and lightly to sort of dab the paint on there. And then we're going to do it to this little paw too. I have a lot of paint on my brush. So 
I'm actually painting upwards. And that helps look like there's more fur. Rinse that off a bit. Sounded like a kid fell off a couch downstairs. <laughs> so, adding a little bit of a shadow. A little bit of a shadow on this side. Actually, I'm gonna jump back to that mama brush quick. And lighten that up a bit. There. Much better. Okay. So that was just that mama brush in white. Lightening up some of that shadow. I did a little bit too dark, but that's okay. Okay, so there's a cute little hedgehog. What we're gonna do next is the flower crown on the head. So I've already got pink. I'm gonna add a little bit of blue, just a, about the size of a penny. I'm just gonna do a little flower. And green. Green will be for the little stems and leaves. Here we go. <clears throat> okay, so using my baby brush, and because I'm getting more into detail, I like to rinse out and then sort of roll my brush like this. So it helps sort of gather those bristles together. And then I'll wipe it off. Again, rolling my brush so it doesn't get all frayed and shoot out the bristles everywhere. You can use your fingertips to do a nice gentle roll so it gathers them, makes it nice. Okay, so the next step, what we're going to do is make a blue flower. I'm using a little bit of white with our blue. We're going to mix more of a sky blue. I wonder if you guys can hear those kids or if I'm just laughing at myself. Okay, so here we go. I have a sky blue that I mixed with the white using white. I'm just needing a little bit here. This one I'm going to put right in the center here. First, I'm going to do a circle. See, just, it's a circle, a blue circle. Then I'm going to take the dark blue and slowly work outward. And then the, it's actually the paint that is doing the work by sitting on top. So I'm gonna try and zoom in here. So every time I put paint, my brush actually pushes paint out and away from the paint that was on there before. I'll do this again for one of my pink flowers. So rinsing out that baby brush, making sure it's nice and roll, 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 roll those bristles. Okay. And I'm going to make that light pink for my base. Okay, so we're going to do a little flower right here. Okay. 
Okay, so that's just a circle. Then I'm gonna jump in. My brush is still dirty with that, I'm trying to get that in focus, with the light pink, but now I'm adding dark pink to it. So I'm starting just to sort of swirl that paint on top so it mixes on the canvas. So it looks like these flowers could be really tough, but honestly, it's that simple. I'm just using the paint and the brush to mix together at the same time. And there you go, that's a flower. That's easy peasy, isn't it? Okay, so the next one, I need to <clears throat> do another flower here on the forehead. So again, that's gonna be a pink one. You guys can do your own colors too. You don't have to do pink and blue. You can do, if you have purple, orange, whatever. So I'm gonna do another pink flower up here. Okay, so for this one, I'm gonna do a little bit of a different technique. So I did just that base pink again. And from the center, I'm gonna push out. Okay, so you just have these little lines in there. There we go, it's pretty cute. Okay, I'm rinsing that out. I'm gonna do some green. So nice and green, just again on the tip of my brush. I'm gonna start adding nice and gentle and not pushing too hard. A little line that comes up. And then I'm gonna add little leaves. Maybe a bigger leaf over here. A leaf that comes down in between. So this is just a straight up green. We can add a little bit of white to help give some more dimension. A leaf right there. A little leaf right there. So the leaf starting out wider and then going to a point, like a teardrop. Do another little twiggy looking thing. And then putting some dots, just little dots around like that. It's easy enough. I'm gonna do a twig coming down this way. A couple little dots. It's starting to come together. Ooh, there's going to be a big drip on mine there. Okay. Now I'm going to take a scoop of white just to mix my green with right here. Just to make a lighter Lighter green for us. There we go. So this is more minty, mint green. So we can add a leaf coming this way. One over top of that one, even. And let's do a twig with the dots going this way. Coming that way. Do one off the front. Just little dots. Looks like little sprigs of your baby's breath. Okay. 
great. I'm gonna rinse out that green. I'm gonna jump quickly back to that pink. I'm gonna add a little bit of more of an oval shape. One on each side of this twig to help look like little roses dangling down. Add one up here and over there too. They're pretty cute. Let's add some up here too. Maybe three little dots. Just little dots. One, two, three. Oh, that's a pretty flower crown. Let's do one there too. And one there too. There. Okay. And one more step. And then this little hedgehog is finished. <clears throat> so if you would like to take that light blue, jump back to that light blue that we had mixed, you can grab that on the tip of your brush. I'm going to, now your black should be dry. Mine's completely dry and good to go. So I'm gonna use this light blue to help give our eyeball a little bit of a shine to it. And I'm just gonna give a little bit of a round So it helps make it actually look rounder, doesn't it? And then I'm gonna give a little bit of a shine to the tip of the nose here. Just a tiny little dot. And it curves around just a little bit. Oh, isn't she cute? I'm going to take this blue too. Same blue. Putting some more dots right there. Looked a little empty. Maybe some in this one too. <laughs> there. So all about balance and just trying and going for it and seeing how it works and you like it, you don't like it, you can try again. Oh, I think she's sweet. Thank you so much for this request. I'd love to get some more. I hope you liked painting this hedgehog with me. Oh, so cute. Thanks, girls. <laughs> okay. See you next time.